morning from Mungoi, Laos. Hello, welcome to day two. Just had breakfast and are now going to go on a hike. There are two breakfast buffets up the yeah. road from where we're staying, which is at the main four-way intersection of Mungoi. Uh, you can easily spot it. Yeah, so we're going to head to the Panoi Cave. Seems like it's about 300 meters from where we're standing. So let's go. So to get there, we have to walk through the temple, which is uh, on the left of the main intersection. It just says to go through the temple, right? Nice. Find a walking stick. Here. Perfect stick. Found the cave. It goes all the way through, right? Yeah. view from inside the cave that's uh, right above the opening there's an opening Laura's right there you can see her just went through the cave and uh, it's a bit eerie yeah caves are creepy yeah they're really creepy especially ones that uh, people used to stay in uh, you can you can see the remnants of of uh, you don't know you don't know what it really is. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm like trying to craft a story, but I think so. <laughs> I mean, from what we know and what I've read online, mm -hmm. is that caves in Mongoy used to provide refuge to people uh, this, hiding from bombings. This area used to was like one of the most heavily bombed uh, areas. Parts of Laos, yeah, during the Secret War. Mm -hmm. um, but inside the caves are like, I I found it kind of odd. There are like lots of uh, shattered glass shattered from glass vials. from like medicinal vials um, and like different shapes and different kinds of them as well and then they're like old tin or aluminum cans that are rusted uh, yeah so like I mean people will hang out in here or have been in there I mean there are signs of people for sure right but when and how long ago it, it's uncertain yeah uh, it's like this is now like a tourist zone right but they're like so aged yeah i don't know this how far back it goes yeah who knows how far back it goes but <laughs> the story goes that people used to stay in these caves during the bombings of the secret war mm -hmm. um but we are close to the viewpoint so the cave is first and then you go to the viewpoint getting to this yeah. point uh, is actually quite steep the stairs are mm -hmm. made of rocks and uh, mud and there's bamboo railings and the bamboo too. railings but uh, be careful of the bamboo railings because not all of them are secure laura slipped on one of them yeah i like grabbed hold of one and then it just came undone to yeah. the floor and i luckily i had this stick yeah so don't rely on the railings or at to least like shake it first yeah exactly test it out and then you know use it but i just kind of grabbed it and like thought it was secure and then it fell yeah and you might get lucky finding a walking stick somebody had left theirs at the bottom yeah, of the like perfect, at the bottom of the hike which i think stick. we'll do is we'll just leave it at the bottom mm -hmm. so that so that somebody else can use it yeah um yeah but it's like it's perfect it's like a perfect bamboo stick and length too. yeah well, let's make our way up to the viewpoint so as you get closer to the top there are some stairs built with some 2x4 plywood and bamboo, bamboo to help you get up because so otherwise you're, you'd just be rock climbing. Yeah. It's, get, it's starting to get pretty steep. potato chips. These we picked up in uh, Long Paba. Long 
So you can't really, see, I don't know if you could see it, but on top of this peak, there's another, uh, I don't know if it's a house or some sort of makeshift gazebo like that we're in right now, but we see a flag of Laos and it looks pretty developed. So I wonder who or what that is up there. We've been sitting here on, at the viewpoint for about an hour now, just taking in the view, ha having some snacks, and uh, Tony did like a little workout. So now we're going to head back down, and I think for the rest of the day we're going to chill. We were thinking about kayaking, gonna get some prices first, and then make a decision after lunch. So we'll let you know. You hear those cicadas? They're so loud. Uh, Dude, that walk is Huge. Okay, let me try. Oh. <laughs> we're making our way down now, and uh, you, we're at the point where you see a couple of signs that tell you to go to cave or to viewpoint. Uh, so we went, went towards the left. If you're if you're looking up, we went to the left ori originally, but there's a cave towards the right, Another which is where we cave. are now. Another cave. Um, and it's just behind us. The opening is actually a lot bigger than the first one that we went yeah. to. Um, and it's not too far from that the original walking path, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> not gonna go inside. It looks a little scary. We just saw some bats fly in, and there's a giant wasp. The wasp is oh, this. Oh no, it's big. like right there. Yeah, it's huge. Where? Where? Um, but <sighs> you can see uh, remnants of a uh, past refuge in here. There, <laughs> <So loud. laughs> There are bowls, uh, rusted tin cans, mm -hmm. um, looks like gasoline containers. Yeah, we'll show yeah. you. Yeah, take a look. So you see some tin cans, uh, some tools, and a bowl, look at that. Zoom in. So here's a bowl. Um, looks like maybe like fire starters or some kind of tools. This is a spoon, look at that. That's a spoon that I think has been flattened. And that's it. I, I mean, like, it gets dark back there. I don't know how deep it goes, but that's at least like 60 feet, no, 70 feet. 100, babe. 100 feet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, th this one is uh, a little spooky. We saw some bats flying there. I think caves are just spooky. If you look up here on the, the ceiling of the cave, you can you see that it's black. That's probably soot from smoke. So. People probably had fires down here, fires, and all the smoke went up, and that's why this is all black. Really? Yep. Okay. We're at Gecko Restaurant getting a little pick-me-up. Tony got a juice, and I got an iced coffee. We ordered some river seaweed that we had yesterday. It's deep fried, and it's really good with some sticky rice. And we also got some french fries, and we're just going to munch and hang out. Tony's on the computer, and I'm probably just going to watch YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. 